Well, hello. Um, welcome to another episode of Plenty of Thoughts. It is your girl Jasmine. Um, I know this is <laughs> two episodes in one week. Who would have thought? But um, a lot was on my mind and I just felt like I need to get it out and release it. You know, that's one of my favorite words. Um, and I was inspired. Um, another favorite word. Uh, Twitch, um, if you guys don't know who Twitch is, uh, he was a DJ from the Ellen show and he would always do dances and he would always, you know, interact with the crowd and, you know, sometimes even host episodes himself when Ellen was away. So just and then on TikTok, him and his wife just just videos of their lives and him just really just dancing and being you know entertaining and joyful and just <sighs> this is gonna be a trigger show. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Um, before I get into it, just know we're, it's gonna get real heavy real quick. Um. So Twitch passed away and how it came about, um, I'm still in just shock, but he took his own life and as someone who has dealt with thoughts of self-harm and just you know, taking that final, just, uh, it's been a good run, but I'm done. You know, like as someone who's had dark thoughts like that, it's, it's really, because here's the thing. He was, he was literally just a breath of fresh air. Like you, you know, when he smiled, you want to smile. Cause he was a good looking guy too. So it's just like, he was humble. He just, you, you would never know, you never know what's going on in someone else's life. Um, and I say that to really just, if you're listening and there you're, you're, you're going through something and it's deep and you're just like, oh, like I can't push through, please let this episode guide you. Please, please hear my voice. When I say c- carry on, continue, keep going. Because there is going to be a tomorrow and that tomorrow might be better than what it was today. It might not happen immediately, but just know there's going to be a better tomorrow. There's always, there's always sunshine after the rain. I'm trying to get my dog's attention. I'm sorry, but because I know she's about to bark and I'm like, but, um, (laughs) child, because listen, when you're shout out to our fur babies, because when when we're in distress, that's one thing they know how to do is just cuddle up to us or, you know, bark to see if we're okay. But, um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. It's just, it's, it's, it's really it got me <laughs> like I'm not even a lot of y'all I teared up at work and like I had a little because it's it's <laughs> it's it I I relate to him you know I'm very I'm like if you know me <laughs> I'm very giddy I'm like I joke all the time I'm like someone who you know, I'm, I'm, I'm chassis, you know, I'm peachy, <laughs> but underneath, you know, the smile, there is a girl who is, you know, she overthinks so much, you know, just a little thing. I internalize, you know, I, I'm, I'm very self-aware, you know, I, I am, but when someone takes their own life, and you've had thoughts of doing the same thing before, it just hits you a little differently because you just like, not to say you question yourself, like, why didn't you have the guts? But, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, I'm so, oh, we are going to prevail and push through. 
Okay. But you have, you, you get, you get triggered and you think about the moment or the moments that you shoulda, coulda, woulda, but you decided to stay. Know that someone is so thankful that you decided to stay. And I hope and pray that you continue to stay on this earth live and well. Because whatever you're going through, whatever darkness you are going through, someone's going to shine a light. And they're going to ask you if you're okay. Have the courage within yourself to say, no, I'm not okay. I need it. I need help to, I need you to guide me to the light. Or if you're, if you're so prideful, you know, like I am sometimes, do it on your own if you have to, you know, become your own light, become your own light, guide yourself out of that darkness, but just do it. Because it's especially to people of color, you know, because here's the thing, (laughs) you know, I come from a background where when I cried, um, it was grow up or it was, why are you crying? Like, if you can't tell me why you're crying, you need to stop crying, you know, and (laughs) I bottled my, I'm, I'm like, I bottled my emotions up for a long time, a long time. And when I finally did let them out, it was in so many horrible ways. Like it was uncontrollable. But then as I start to let out little by little <laughs> and really understand that it's okay. Like it's okay to have the emotions that you do. It's okay to have, you know, unhappy thoughts. But don't sit, don't sit in them. If you have one bad thought, have a good thought to follow up after that. Because if you're, because repetition is child. (laughs) Just keep going. And you're probably like, girl, shut up. Like we are, but no, like. I really don't know what else to say, but just keep going. Find resources, find resources. I know I've been telling y'all that. Find resources that will, you know, hit your friends up. Call your parents, call your grandparents, call call your local dominoes. Who just, talk. there is a hotline you can call if you have dark thoughts, you know, But make it become aware. Self-awareness is so big. Be aware of the thoughts that you have and know that you need help. Um, I write. Sometimes it's ugly. Sometimes I cry when I write, but I write and it helps me release it. Um, I'm, I'm going back to the gym. Like I've been, I'm... (laughs) Hey, I've been in the gym three times this week already. And it's just, it, it helps getting that, just, ugh, that endurance out, you know? I cook when I just want to, you know, get messy, <laughs> if you will. I cook. I buy plants. You know, when I feel like being nurturing, I nurture my plants. Or I'll hug my dog. I have a dog. I have candles. When I feel like seeing fire or something burn, it's just, I I do things to help me cope with life. Because we, we go through a lot. And to black men especially, listen, I'm not a black man. So, but... I see y'all. I see what y'all are going through. You know, I see it through social media. I see it through just everyday interactions. I see it, you know, when my friends hit me up. 
it's hard to be a black man. It's hard to be a black man in America. You know, we, <laughs> excuse me. We tell our men to be strong and, you know, no one wants to see y'all cry. Like, you know, that's women's, women's tears, you know, stuff like that. But guys, do please, please talk to someone. Um, I... I don't know what you might be going through. I don't know, excuse me, what struggles you're trying to overcome, but know that you're going to get through it. Know that there are better days ahead, that you will succeed and prevail. Because choosing that route that he did I understand the want to be free from everything. Trust me, I do. Trust me, I do. But it hurts. Cause just like for me, <laughs> it's like, dang, like that's less hope I have in the world, you know? So I don't know who needs to hear it, but keep going, keep going. Don't, don't give up. Please don't give up. It's, it's like, I'm just, I, <laughs> Like I said, I know what it's like. I know that, you know, self-awareness is huge. Identifying how you feel is huge. You know, talk to someone. Talk to someone who you trust. Because I understand, too, like, another thing, especially in the black community, therapy is not something a lot of us seek, you know? Or at least we're traditional therapy, if you will. We might have, you know, kikis and ha-has and barbershop talk, but no, I'm talking about real deal, professional licensed. How are you doing? How are you feeling? What do we need to work on type deal? It's not a bad thing. Go. And if you're scared to go, because you're, if you feel like, oh, you know, they're going to do this or they're going to do that. Or I'm not trying to go, you know, to a psych ward. Child, trust me, as someone who has avoided the police before, because I try to, <laughs> let me not give up all my secrets. <laughs> but um, now as someone who has dealt with a situation like that, I'm here to tell you, unless they see physical signs of self-harm, they're not going to take you. And say you were in therapy and you do say, I do have thoughts. They're going to say, well, is it to the point where you need to be monitored? And that's totally up to you to what you say next. But just know that if that's your reasoning for like not wanting to go to therapy, it doesn't have to get that deep. I mean, if you need it to get that deep, it should, because you need to release all your demons and all your doubts and all your worries. But I wrote a poem um, and it just like y'all today, like this week. And also to the families who have been affected by the many tornadoes that touched down in Texas uh, this week, I'm just... My heart goes out to y'all. I hope, you know, our government has the supplies to, you know, <laughs> fix everything that happened. Because, child, natural disasters are, you really just, it's, it's just like, I mean, it's just, some days you really are going to have amazing, great, 
beautiful sunny skies and other days you are going to just darkness total darkness but after that you'll be okay like I said as someone who has dealt with self-harm, who has dealt with self-doubt um, and just the overall thought of ending it, ending it all. Um, it's really, it's really tough. It really is. It really is. It really is. But I find ways to keep going, you know? Because if not for myself, for others. Because um, it's like, I think about my mom. I think about my sister. I think about my friends, you know? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's really, we just all need to like, we, I just, and the maybe, I think maybe that's just my sign. Like maybe I need to go back to therapy. Like, cause I was in therapy before i you know, and it's really actually, it's very, it taught me so many techniques about, you know, just managing mental health and, you know, just getting through it. Cause y'all it's tough. It's really tough. And if you don't have support or if you feel like you don't have support, you will be overcome by emotion. You'll succumb to your dark thoughts. If you don't get the help and support that you need. So I'm just, I'm using this episode as just a, a reminder that Life is hard. It's so hard. And especially if you're a person of color, you just go through things that you just like, why? Like, why? And then to be a, a black man, I feel for y'all. And I... I really do hope that, you know, you take the words that I've said today and really apply them to your life. Really, really say, you know what, I do have dark thoughts sometimes and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to lose myself to them. Let me go seek help. Let me go talk to someone who I can trust. Let me call a hotline. There's resources. You are not alone. Someone, <laughs> relatability, y'all, like, <laughs> you're not alone. So, um, I think I'm just going to end it there. Like I said, this was not a... This was just, I got inspired and I just, I wanted to get it out because I've been having like this whole day. Well, I, well, I won't say this whole day, but ever since I found out, I've just been in just like a, dang, like this man was just so cheerful. Like you just never, like you really just never know. So be kind, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, just like... Because you never know. And like I said, if you do have those thoughts that you're just like, if you feel numb inside, like emotionally numb, please, that's that's when you really need to reach out to someone. That's that's the time where it's like, okay, it's it's now or never. Because, because I know. <laughs> I know what it's like to just... Yeah, yeah. Harm yourself because you want to feel something, you know? Because you feel empty. You feel nothing. You feel just... I know. Oh, my gosh. If you hear somebody barking or if you hear noises, it's Sasha. I don't know what she's chewing on. 
than the letter B. But, um, let me read this poem. <sighs> I entitled this poem Twitch. Um, rest in power. May you be at peace. May you be enjoy heaven and dance ever so joyously. Cheers to you, sir. Okay, here it is. It's so hard to believe. I'm sad. I'm upset. I just want black men to live and breathe. I pray I'll overcome any problems we don't see. The internal struggles causing you misery. Feeling hopeless, drained, and empty. I know what, you, what it's like to want to give up. To want to go to sleep and not wake up. Life can be so rough, especially for a black man. It can be extremely tough. It's something many don't realize. It's something black men really emphasize. But trust when I say I sympathize. No matter what you're going through, know that someone is here to support you. Talk. Tell me how you feel inside. Let it all out. There's no need to hide. Please don't succumb to thoughts of suicide. Life is better when you're alive. Live. Keep going. Don't stress. Let it be. If not for you, do it for me. Thank you. Um, I mean that. And if you're not someone of color, if you're just someone who just relates to self-harm and self-doubt and self-worry and, you know, dark thoughts like that, please use use <laughs> hear these words i can i will i'm going to be successful in all that i do i can i will i'm going to be successful in all that I do. I will inhale, exhale, prevail. Inhale, exhale, prevail. Shout out to Whitney Houston. <laughs> Um, I just don't know why I thought about her. <laughs> just keep going, y'all. Please do. Um, that's all I have for this, this mental awareness episode, if you will. But seriously, the call hotlines. Google is your friend. Listen, if you want to just talk to me, like I said, I'm here for you guys. Because um, I know, I know, I know what it's like. So, you know, Instagram, at Plenty of Thoughts. Um, even Gmail, Plenty of Thoughts at gmail.com. Just whatever, you know... You're not alone, okay? You're not alone. Don't suffer in silence. Don't suffer in silence. There's no need to. Don't, there's no, like, why? Why? Why do that to yourself? No, someone can help you. Rest in peace. Excuse me. Rest in peace, Twitch. Have a blessed weekend, y'all. Um, 
just prevail. Like I said, inhale, exhale, and prevail. You got this. You got this. You won't fail. You won't. Till next time. This has been Plenty of Thoughts. I'm Jasmine. Cheers. Cheers.